The following profile details the important events of the mission using nominal times. 1.75 seconds before liftoff, stage one engines are ignited and the proton roars to life. 10 seconds after liftoff, the proton executes a roll maneuver to align its launch flight azimuth to 71.9 degrees. 62 seconds after liftoff, Proton is traveling about Mach 1.5 and experiencing maximum dynamic pressure. The first stage is equipped with six gimbaled single chamber liquid propellant RD-276 rocket engines that fire for a little over two minutes, propelling the vehicle to an altitude of 43 kilometers. The four gimbaled single chamber liquid propellant rocket engines of the second stage ignite three and a half seconds before stage one separation and then burn for approximately three and a half minutes. At this point, about five and a half minutes into flight, stage two separation occurs. Stage three now propels the vehicle for the next four minutes. Payload fairing separation occurs approximately 15 seconds after third stage ignition. About nine minutes and 35 seconds into the flight, stage three separates from the Breeze M upper stage. 11 minutes and 39 seconds into the flight, the Breeze M now ignites for the first time during the mission. This first burn is for about four minutes and 20 seconds, allowing the Breeze M to insert itself and its spacecraft payload into a low earth elliptical parking orbit of 133 kilometers perigee altitude and 273 kilometers apogee altitude with an inclination of 48 degrees. After reaching parking orbit, the Breeze M and its payload are traveling above the Earth at a speed of about 7,480 meters per second, or 16,700 miles per hour. From the parking orbit, the Breeze M will deliver the spacecraft to its target geosynchronous transfer orbit by means of four additional burns that occur over the next nine hours. At approximately 66 minutes into the flight, the Breeze M main engine ignites for the second time beginning a 17-minute, three-second burn and placing itself into an intermediate orbit. Now the perigee altitude is increased to 240 kilometers and the apogee altitude is increased to 5,000 kilometers. After coasting for a little over two hours, the Breeze M main engine ignites again and burns for approximately 11 and a quarter minutes. Less than a minute after the end of burn three, the now depleted auxiliary propellant tank is jettisoned. The Breeze M engine ignites a minute and a half later for its fourth burn. That lasts for about six minutes. This is followed by the longest coasting phase of the mission, which lasts about five hours. In this transfer orbit, the perigee is now at 400 kilometers and the apogee is at 35,627 kilometers above the Earth. The fifth and final time the Breeze M engine ignites is at the apogee of the transfer orbit at about eight hours and 49 and a half minutes into its mission. It then burns for about six minutes and 14 seconds. This is where the orbital unit will maneuver for a big plane change. 14 minutes after this maneuver, the W2A satellite is separated from the Breeze M. At this point, the satellite reaches its target geotransfer orbit of 5,010 kilometers perigee, 35,596 kilometers apogee, and 20.7 degrees inclination. <laughs>